you guys, it's Siridan, and today we're doing a review of the Nerf N Strike Barricade RV10. So the Barricade was released in 2010 and it came with these which are Whistler darts and it works the best with Whistler darts because it's a flywheel blaster and the flywheels are spaced so that it'll grip the head of the dart instead of just the foam so it doesn't work as well with elites but we'll still be using them in the range test. So the Barricade has a total capacity of 10 darts in this rotating turret here and on the other side you've got this switch which turns on the flywheels and then you pull the trigger to fire a dart it only fires one at a time but it's semi-auto so that's pretty nice so since the barricade is an electric blaster it needs batteries and you use three AA batteries which just go in here it's also got a stock attachment point although it doesn't come with a stock and it's got a jam door here because you will get the occasional jam so unfortunately, the barricade does not have a barrel attachment point, but it does have a tactical rail on the top here, as well as a sling attachment point in the handle. So that's the end of our overview of the Nerf barricade. Now we're going to move on to the range test. Hey guys, it's Tom, and today at the range we're going to range test the N-Strike barricade. Starting off with shooting its normal whistler darts. Okay, starting off with flat shots, let's go. Okay, now angled shots. Okay, that's it for shooting the darts. Now let's check the ranges. Okay, so our first shot here is at about 30 feet. Um, our next shot's about at 32 feet. Next one at 33 feet. Then up here, there's one at about 37 feet. Then. Along up here, there's one about 47 feet, and our last shot here is about 49 feet. Okay, that's it for shooting Whistler darts. Now let's shoot Elite darts. Okay, so now we're shooting the Nerf Barricade with your normal Elite darts. Okay, starting off with flat shots, let's go. Okay, now angled shots. Okay, that's it for shooting the darts. Now let's check the ranges. One of the problems with the barricade is that it doesn't shoot elite darts very consistently because its flywheels are bigger than your average, like, new age flywheels. But, so that's a 13 foot shot, but it's probably a dud anyway. Okay, so our first shot here is at about 25 feet. Another one at about 26 feet. Then up here, there's one at about 31 feet. And then one at 33 feet. And then way up here, we have one all the way at about 49 feet. Okay, that's it for our range test. Now on to the conclusion. So the Barricade got okay ranges. Pretty good for its time, actually, with the Whistler darts. Although the problem is that since they were designed to shoot darts with a bigger cap, it doesn't really shoot elites very well. At least not as well as modern Flavia Blasters shoot. But it still shoots them okay, just sometimes they dot a bit. The Barricade was released in many different color schemes. So we've got the normal N-Strike version here. There's also a Sonic one, as well as a Gear Up one, and some weird Transformers ones, which looked pretty nice. They were pretty detailedly painted. And there's also a Stockade, which is essentially a Barricade, but shoots Elite darts about as good as your average Elite. So if you're planning on getting a Barricade to shoot Elite darts with, you're going to want to get the Stockade instead. While the barricade doesn't come with any attachments normally, there is a special value pack which came with a Raider stock but painted in the yellow and strike scheme. And it looks pretty good, so if you find one you should pick one up. The barricade is an okay blaster for modding. You can probably upgrade the batteries a bit as well as the motors, but there's not really much point in doing that because you could just get a stockade and then modify it, at least if you're planning to shoot elite darts, although the stockade doesn't shoot Whistler darts. Which, I guess if you're wanting to shoot Whistler darts or any other big tip darts, you could just get a barricade and then modify it. But if you're going to modify one, just get a stockade. They're just better. So that's the end of our review of the Nerf Barricade RV10. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.